Well, hello there. Welcome. Episode 7 of my multiplayer server Let's Play. You can see we are still making some adjustments. Uh, I just took out this uh, episode from where I left the previous one. Oh, I always forget about that. And I'm just uh, here in my little hole in our base. And I, you can see I remove a piece of the floor in here. It's this one here. I will leave it there, for example. Because... Uh, let me take this out. Because I am going to uh, make uh, this adjustment I told you about. This uh, white, orange, white with... Uh, well, I could use uh, golem, but uh, I do not really want to, frankly. Eh, I don't really want to use that or this or ah, there. I can place this in here. So I can place one lever in here. Place it to work. Okay, and some uh, so items will be taken from there to there. Oh, I had already some levers in here. Oh, no, no problem. So the first things I think I will do. Well, I need to dispose of some items in here. <coughs> uh, sorry. It is always a good thing to have some relays on you. Hmm. Now, but where to place them? That's uh, another matter entirely. Let's place it in here, for example, with two of those. Oh. Now that I remember, I can restart my small farm upstairs with the extra of uh, having now... Um, well, I don't really like to, to have one of these, but... Eh. No, nah, I won't. I won't be placing it. So I will place the wooden golem in here. Grab only sugar canes, nether wart, and the straw golem. It's we'll have it. And you can see it's working now like a madman. So we'll uh, get more of these uh, resources again. Since this uh, works constantly, it should just should provide us with all necessary things, well, with a lot, I mean, of uh, essence over time, but so, uh, again, I am not very intent of on using it. So right now, my main concern is dispose in a somewhat, somewhat efficient manner of all those of all those bones we have in here. I mean, 93,000 bones, it's too much. So I will start by taking some of them. I will leave this in there. And uh, I will need to be careful because I do not want to, to throw in here anything that I care about, like my Sword of the Sapphire or uh, any of the other items I am carrying. You can see it's now going down. Very slowly, I must say. But, uh, such is the nature of certain things. I'm need I'm in need of a bucket because I will be playing with lava. I know it's not a very n good idea to do so. Do not worry about me. Hopefully, I won't lose anything I have right now. Ah, uh, so here it is. So here's the lava, and I have it. Perfect! I will need some pipes to move it, and I will have to make uh, some sort of room to to work, because... Well, I don't... Do I? Nah. I will move this from here to other place. Oh. There. Oh, nice and new. I know it is a mess. 
So we could make it in here or in one of the corners in there. Personally, I think I might exp What is... My gosh. Applied energy is I supposed. Yep. <clears throat> Oops. I don't want to have you on hand. So, energy breach. Interesting device. Must be configured to build craft. This one must be, yeah, build craft, industry craft, build craft, industry craft again. So I suppose they will turn uh, something into something else. In fact, considering things, I believe we are not <coughs> using any. Uh, we are not dependent of the item farm. Now that I see about it, I, I believe we are not dependent on on the coal to to function, or so it would seem. <laughs> That would render my device completely moot. But such is the nature of the beast. Whatever you do, it will certainly turn useless over time. Anyway, <coughs> mm, I believe we can remove safely all these little islands. Now, don't worry, I will replace those uh, light sources shortly. For example, one can be... No, in fact, one can be in there. And the other one can be... in here. Perfect. So... Let me see. If things flow... Throw Fall through here. I need a three by three, which we have in here. Mm, not very good. No. What about here? Yeah, a little better. So let's place this in here. So we have this hole in here, and we have this in there. Ah, mostly interestingly. Why not? Okay, I can place it in here, so it should provide provide power for several places in the base. Now, okay. Remember, they take uh, a ten by ten cube, so it's not really a matter. And let me replace. Whoa. That's what I didn't want to use the shovel. Tends to be a little too messy. Okay, now give me a couple. Nah. Let's go for something nicer. So I will make this a little nicer with stone bricks. I know we're overusing them, but frankly, it's uh, the cheapest building material we have right now that can be used and reused without uh, having much of a problem with uh, needing to recook it after removal. So be right back. Okay, we're back in business. You can see I am lacking here one piece, but the other things are cor uh, placed correctly. And hopefully things will work if I throw them from there. Let's first uh, place the transposer. And I believe I want it to be... Eh, I don't know how do I want it to be. The other way around. Yes, I know I could uh, grab my, uh, a screwdriver, but... Surely, a little too bothersome to do so. So... I do this, I have problem. 
Uh, so I am going to need to place one pneumatic tube in here, then this transposer, which requires to be moved again. Okay, let's see if I push it like so. Nope, it's taking items. I need to place it from the top. So. Oh, don't tell me I even save one piece of... You ain't crap. Yeah. That's working now. Of course I could place it uh, on the, uh, on directly on top of this one, but, uh, well, for now... Oh, don't tell me I did it. Yes, I did it wrong. I placed the filter on top and the other one... Okay, filter goes up here. Yes. And there goes the transposer. Perfect. So now I place a stone sword in here. I can place this in here. You can see it's rotating. I can throw, for example, one piece of dirt. Well, or several. Yeah, it works. So essentially now <laughs> I'm going to need uh, one bone, which we should still have an extraordinarily high amount of. Whoa! It's like, as usual, having things working slowly but steadily is worth uh, it's on it, in it, it's worthwhile on its own. Uh, aluminium. Can cook it later. So I'm going to place here the phones. So we should... Nope. As I thought, this needs to be one step higher. And considering how things are, I must as well disable this for the time being and move the tubes to the other side. So I will place one tube in here as to facilitate things a little, do you understand? And so I can place this in here temporarily at least. Uh, this is the filter, so I want a transposer. Thank you. Oh, don't want to place you there. Okay. Yeah, I know the pickaxe of the core works like that, do not worry. Yeah, let's make it all a little nicer. No! can jump in here, can I jump in there? Here I can. There we go. So, one bone, one stone sword. Now we place this in here, and... Well, in fact, this should be... A... And yes, I did notice my mistake. Oh gosh. Yes, I know I am being stubbornly dragging this long without even realizing it. Fortunately, I do realize it, at least for the moment. And this is going to be a little harder than I thought, yeah. Now I'm going to need a screwdriver, yes or yes. But I believe there's one already crafted around somewhere. Nope. There is not. Well, we can go here. Uh, we can see there's no screwdriver, so we are going to need one piece of iron. 
Oh. Um, stick. And the screwdriver is made just like so. There's another version that uh, can be recharged and last, last forever, but, uh, well, I do not require it for now. So, perfect. Now, should be working. You should be working. Let's see, I throw this there. Now I place this chiseled. And it works like a charm. Uh, talking about charms, let me see how much charge does, does this thing hold. Ah, 0%. It will build over time if we have that uh, system working. In the meantime, I can dispose of this and this. And I will recover my... Well, I know I placed some of those stone bricks, the common storage, it's not really a problem. Incidentally, I did so something <coughs> that uh, worried me a little recently regarding Ars, Ma Ars Magica. As far as I can tell you, <coughs> the both fabricators, I believe the fabricators and, the re uh, and maybe the repairers, well, the repair of the repairs, I am not very sure, but the fabricators, I believe, are not going to accept uh, mana focus. You can place them in there, but they are not going to work. Essentially, it's so you don't. Uh, well, the creator of the mod doesn't need to increase costs or something, so you can't, uh, for example, throw one piece of iron into a blue nexus, then use a fabricator with uh, a lesser, less mana system to gain some essence on on the process. And I believe maybe all things considered and things I left this working na uh, last night there has been server restart. For some reason every time the server restarts the fabricators need to be manually reset. I don't know why some of them work, some of them do not. Uh, maybe it's because uh, they need to cost more than a certain amount of uh, essence for that to happen. But uh, it's quite a bother, really. Because I never know when the server is going to be reset or whatever. So, red pules back nah, let's say 501 so 500 pulses of one seconds from the back oh do not tell me yeah so this one for example and this one are being powered by my upstairs white nexus because it's using Oh, maybe it's just in range. I thought it was using this fella here. Incidentally, we did some spell research last time, didn't we? I need to check how to craft these fellas. They're, they have no recipe and there's no way of duplicating whatever you place, shamefully. So, I suppose we are a little, a little, a little constrained in that regard. And besides, considering how the spell uh, research works, some readjustments need to be made. I mean, I explore uh, as far as I was able to and only found 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 11, 11 notebooks. So it's a little... Uh, Especially with the writing contest, which I am currently stuck at. I have not been written much these days. Yes, I know I should have. I was playing Fallout, remember? Shouldn't have been doing that. I was also having a look at my... 
Dresden Files role-playing game. I'm game mastering every 15 days or so, and I know I'm getting killed slowly by a wisp. Now oh, the wisp killed itself. Fury Aura for the win. They are one sprite, so it's pretty hard to hit them. Anyway, as I was telling you, I don't know where that wispy essence landed, so bye bye. And it's not. Uh, I was well busy doing all that other stuff. Look, another thing that uh, works very well with uh, <laughs> with the blue next scene, a chicken farm. I mean, if you have like uh, a ton of chickens play, uh, laying eggs, yeah, you will have a lot of luck, but uh, you will also get a lot of essence. I mean, really, we're talking about uh, really good amounts of essence that will be thrown inside on a permanent basis. It's actually, I believe, one of the better farms, considering how uh, well, it doesn't require very uh, a lot of maintenance after all. That's one of the high perks of this one. Oh, another wisp? Really? I didn't create anything, so somebody must have been playing with Thorncraft. Oh well. Yeah, I know I have some issues while loading from there to here. Anyway, uh, I intend to do something with that um, blue nexus. I still do not know what. Uh, maybe I will place uh, several fabricators connected to. Um, yeah, I might do that. Not. Sh I'm just not very sure. Hm. Okay, for the time being, I believe I will need somewhere to place the stuff. And, well, considering how it is slightly about there, well, if I can place, for example, here and here, they should be charging. They are not. Well, this one's pretty empty, after all. So, yeah, you can see what my intentions are right now, can't you? Huh. I will make a production of uh, golden apples. Let me check. Uh, there shouldn't be any... Cannot fabricate this item. Damn it. Well... Gold nuggets, okay, but apples. Yeah, only from the scrap box for the carpenter. So, yeah, we should need a multi block structure from. Well, I mean, we are going to need one of the forestry farms, undoubtedly. As for the other one, it was going to be melon with gold nuggets, you can guess. It's. Um, to make glistering melon for the... well, for making healing potions, but it doesn't really... it isn't really needed. I mean, we are producing on one hand... Uh, this goes in here. On one hand, we are producing iron, uh, gold and iron. We could increase the production and in the other we are producing uh, the melons in the farms, so it's not really needed. Uh, but what we really need is bones. This is like uh, this uh, TV series, Gimme Bones. <laughs> anyway, 
the idea of course is to drop 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 the system to manageable levels you can see we are throwing large amounts of bo of uh, bones in there their essence value is not very high I must confess or at least I think it is not very high you can check it on the wiki but yeah you can see here it's not excessively good I mean we throw several stacks and uh, it's just uh, on, a, on a thousand or something so it's one of those things that uh, just is sitting there doing nothing well we have some stone swords certainly uh, sometimes the skeletons drop uh, a completely undamaged stone sword but frankly again its essence value is not very high so I'm going to place one in there so we have damaged stone sword and intact stone sword in that regard we're good okay back into business I already disposed of most of those uh, pesky bones uh, we're st we still have a very high amount we have discovered uh, some small problems here and there with the server seems like there's sl small uh, well problematics regarding how things uh, go on because we run out of, uh, of RAM or something but uh, since Damsky made some changes in here one of them is this fella uh, XP t uh, Turtle you can see it's a better solution than uh, Thumbcraft brains frankly I mean with the brains uh, you have a, a top of uh, a thousand, uh, a thousand XP, which is usually enough to get you to to level to level thirty. But uh, I suppose this fella here is has uh, unlimited uh, options. So let's see if I go to the mod staff and get uh, to the misc peripherals. No, not iron chest. Uh, mix peripherals here. Ah, okay, we can't uh, really see it in here. Uh, anyway, this turtle is crafted with an enchanting table. With one of these. So, no biggie about how to craft it. Uh, I don't know about the program, but uh, Damsky made things so we have to turn on two different uh, systems for things to go. Uh, you can see they have the completely empty storage but uh, they seem to not uh, allow any to, to get inside. And you can see the turtle is uh, gathering the XP. So in theory we could leave this uh, online for the whole night but uh, that is not really necessary. I don't know why he added this uh, redstone option on top, frankly. Eh, damn lag. Because uh, right now, as I told, I believe I told you this before, but uh, right now the system is working out of uh, EMC from industrial craft provided by the way of this uh, Minecraft jewels from Buildcraft. Oh, I didn't check uh, this one in here, 90%. So you can see it's pretty useless as uh, disposing chute, so to speak, to have one of these. It's, well, it has its utility. Over time it will give you tons of uh, power, but uh, if you're going to throw away things like uh, bones and cobblestone and the like, then you're going to need awful 
normal amounts of uh, materials to get it. Of course, if we were using some sort of uh, quarry, then that would, wouldn't be a problem. And that's what's happened here. Oh, I suppose we have some sort of uh, rendering problem with, uh, with the lava in here. Can't see any anything inside. Might be because it's using standard glass instead of uh, sidecrafts. I don't know. But anyway, we are doing that with this uh, with these fellas, these energy breaches, which I believe are from Mine Factory Reloaded. I am not sure, though. And they are a little overpowered even requiring a diamond, or precisely because they only require diamonds, I don't know, I mean, we have right now more than 4,000 uh, redstone, more than 2,000 glowstone, uh, we have uh, both iron and uh, other things in the hundreds, iron, gold, tin, silver, it's it's crazy in that regard. We have um, we are swimming in resources at least for now. Uh, actually, Damsky asked me about uh, this contraption here. I gave him my opinion that it might be better to have it like my gas farm, which has been turned off for a long time now. In here. Uh, you can recall, if I turn the lever, then the, the gas farm starts, which consists essentially on a detector of mobs and two turrets firing. Well, you can do it without the detector if you can feed the turrets constantly. Uh, but frankly, there's really no point. I might change things again just uh, because I am finding things, some things lacking. So I might change this uh, white next in here for a red one. Of course I will have to place some sort of mob spawner on top, but uh, well I can, I have tons of eggs and the chickens are not precisely hard to come by. Only problem, of course, is that um, how am I to dispose of the drops, if there's any. Uh, usually I'd say, hey, that's no biggie, we'll take uh, one of the um, golems and place it there. But uh, we have a problem with that. The moth, uh, the red Nexi, the moth, uh, the one that kills mobs and takes uh, essence from them, it's just, uh, well, it considers the golems as a mob, so it will kill them. You can see I also crafted two golems, a straw and a wood, and a wood golem, both the smart from Damsky. Their rank are 10 blocks. We are betting that they can reach uh, up, up floors and the like. Because well, uh, and if they can't, well, we are having a 21 by 21 farm with two different, gosh, two different uh, levels. So they can't go back and forth and mess things up. So what I'm going to do now, frankly, is uh, something I have long overdue. I'm going to place, uh, to make filters because, frankly, it's a little annoying to have all those uh, <clears throat> to have all those cauldrons, but uh, without any kind of uh, filtering system like this one. Uh, mind you, books are no longer my favorite source of uh, knowledge. Remember, they have five different aspects, so it's like... Uh, damn. Let me leave this one in here. <clears throat> because uh, I usually need 12 knowledge and they give 5 each, so it's like, it's a little hard. 
and if they require three pieces of of paper and if we go here each piece of paper gives you two knowledge so frankly it's better to just uh, throw the paper directly than using books so that's uh, one third so I want to craft more of these filters hopefully for the next episode I have them already ready and uh, I suppose we will be the commission is uh, this farms in here to make uh, the um, the f the thumbcraft automated ones and maybe this the tire of every time I log in uh, gather them you can see we have too much string we have uh, we have a little too much of, of 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 everything right now that's one of the consequences of having this uh, kind of uh, this kind of system in a server that never gets turned off uh, over time you will build lots and lots of resources because uh, regardless of what you do you are producing all the time and it's a little like well, the game gets uh, easy very fast for example you can see here I have a 4x4 four four farm half uh, sugarcane half uh, uh, nether warts and fr as in the la from the last night uh, in the last uh, 10 hours or so it gives you can see so many stacks of uh, everything so it's like uh, you can do things small let them run while you go to sleep and when you go back they are well they're well <laughs> they are well filled up frankly uh, I also I don't know if I told you I made this this bow in here unbreaking power infinity punch and flame just to kill the not the ender dragon by but it's uh, but it supports towers I find the poor fella quite a nuisance so Every time I go to to the to the end, it, the end of dragon ends trying to to kill me, showing up from nowhere even if it shouldn't see me, and that's uh, why I plan to contain it or at least kill it if needed be. I will try to gather all the players I can, and then we will heroically kill it. Well, it will be more like a whack a mole because frankly the poor fella doesn't stand a chance I mean we have unlimited XP we have tons and tons and tons of resources I will be starting to make uh, the Archmate armor soon but well frankly I, I doubt I will make the Archmate armor because the only difference with the master armor is the cooldown of the on the spells it's, it casts and I don't really find that uh, impressive if it uh, were to offer more uh, what's the name? more protection I would be I would be glad to craft it but uh, it only offers a little extra survivability in the, in the shape of spells so it's like uh, well not really interested thank you the cost is uh, even considering the amount of uh, items we have the cost is a little too high not because uh, of the items but because of the amount of steps we need to take all the time remember uh, the archmage uh, armor requires uh, a pure essence all the time uh, shouldn't you be working doesn't use arcane ash it seems I never remember how was how did this work purified pentium no what the heck man 
Maybe I can craft them only one at a time. That would be a bummer. Uh, let me see if it's with this one. And no, it's not working. Maybe it's just one at a time. So, nope. Ah, time to check the wiki. I, oh. Yeah, it's one at a time. If I were to place another egg. Ah, no. It's working suddenly. Strange, frankly. Oh well. <clears throat> Might be messing things up without realizing it. Anyway, that will be that will be all for the seventh episode. You can see I have now one life essence. I will be crafting a little more essences here and there, but off camera. And I'll see you on episode eight. Bye, people.